Hi everyone. I want to share with you um, a few things that will really impress your clients and they're only going to take a few moments to do. But I'm telling you, by doing something unexpected and leaving your clients um, so impressed is going to really um, be good for your business. Now, let me tell you one of my favorite things to do for clients, and it is tying towels. Now, it may sound like a simple thing, but I'm telling you, they notice it, and they remember it, and they are just so fascinated by it. So I'm going to show you three different techniques that I do that are just extremely easy and if you just practice them a little bit you're going to be able to do them in just a couple of minutes. So the first one I'm going to show you is called the bandana tie. So this is a typical bath towel and I am going to take the matching washcloth and I'm going to fold it in the shape of a triangle and then I'm going to tie it right underneath the first layer of towel. Now, if you have a really thick towel and or washcloth, you may need to use one of the heavy duty paper clips or a large safety pin or a clothes pin to um, keep it intact in the back. And then I flip this up a little bit. So what it's gonna look like on your towel rack is this. So you're going to have the nice little bandana tie, but what that's going to also do is give you the opportunity to add a little special touch in here. So if you know the colors in their bathroom, you may want to add some little silk flowers, and I usually carry a bucket of little silks, um, my ribbons, decorative soaps, shampoos, lotions, and you can add to that. Now, the second thing I'm going to show you, the second way of tying towels, is a little bit more detailed, but I tell you, it's great fun to do. So what you're going to do is take your bath towel, but this time I'm going to use a face towel. And watch what I do with the face towel. There's just four simple steps. I'm going to create a lip. Here's my lip. I'm going to flip. I'm going to fold it in thirds and I'm going to tuck the one end into the other. So it's lip, flip, fold and tuck and guess what? I now have the opportunity to add something to this pocket. So what I'm going to do is take the washcloth and I am going to do an accordion pleat on the washcloth and then I'm going to make sure that I keep it very, very tight so it doesn't come undone. And then I'm going to very, very gently place it in this pocket that I've created and kind of fan it out. And then this is going to go over the bath towel so hanging on a rod, it would look like this. So this is going to be hanging down. And once again, you can easily add some decorative soaps to this. You can add some um, silk greenery. But what a nice touch for the towels in the bathroom. Now, let's go to the third way that I tie towels. And I think it's really fun. Uh, what I'm going to do is take my towel and I am going to face it the opposite direction so the open ends are going to be towards me and what you're going to be doing is this really works if you have somebody else helping you but the rod is going to be here and you're going to have one half of the towel in the back and one in the front and then you're going to take your ribbon and I like using the ribbon that has um, a little bit of wiring in it because it keeps the bow intact. And keep in mind, this is on the rod. So somebody is holding the towel while I tie the bow. So I am going to tie it fairly tightly because it's going to keep it on the rod better. And then with this wired ribbon. You can kind of play around with it and really make it uh, stand out. So what that's going to look like on your rod is just like this. 
Now look what happens. It creates an opening here in the towel. And what we're going to do with that opening is I am going to take another bath towel and I am going to roll up this bath towel. I want to make sure that you do it nice and neatly. So I'm going to roll up the bath towel, make sure it's the same width as this towel, and then I am going to place it right in the middle of this towel. And because I still have some extra room, I am going to take the hand towel and make sure it is about the same width as the other towels. Then I am going to do the same thing. I'm going to roll this up and I'm going to put it right here in the middle. So what you're going to have is a really fun display of towels. And you can use uh, different colors to give it a little bit more of a pop. But how fun is that? And then one other tip. If you have two sinks or you have a large vanity and you want to put something on the vanity top, you can do the same thing as I showed you before. We're going to go back to our four-step hand towel technique and we're going to create the lip, we're going to flip, we're going to fold, and we're going to tuck, lip, flip, fold, tuck. Then we're going to turn it over. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do our accordion, a little accordion pleats here. We're going to hold it tight, fold it over there, and then we're going to put it right in the little pocket. Okay, all right. And then here again, we can add a decorative soap if we want. We can add um, some shampoo or some lotion. But what I'm going to do is, because it's on a counter, I don't want it to lay flat like that. I am going to roll the long part up so that the towel will sit nice and pretty, sit up, and really be a beautiful display and a nice surprise for guests and the homeowners. So take the extra time and you're going to make a huge, huge impression on your clients. Bye-bye.